I'm about to raw dog this 13 hour flight from Bangkok to London. No music, no movies, no reading, no talking, no nothing. Remind me why I'm doing this again. If you're on the internet, you've probably heard of this new viral trend of people raw dogging flights, where men and women take to the skies with no protection. And by no protection, I mean sitting on a long haul flight doing absolutely nothing except staring at the in-flight map. So no music, no movies, no reading, no podcast, no talking, no nothing. At first glance, this seems like a hilarious internet meme. But if we look again, there are a couple of things going on here, which may have the power to change humanity as we know it. So I decided to give it a go myself. All right, so it's the morning of the raw dog. 13 hour flight from Bangkok to London and yeah, I'm kind of dreading it. I don't think it's gonna be particularly fun, but I had to do it. Especially considering last week's video is about getting out of comfort zone. I thought this was a good way to push myself. So currently I'm in Manila in the Philippines. And actually it's not just one flight from Bangkok to London. I still need to fly from Manila to Bangkok. So that's a three hour flight. I was considering raw dogging both the flights. So the, the three hour flight to Bangkok and then the 13 hour to London. But I thought seeing as I've never done this before, I'm gonna do it gradually and just do the one flight. So yeah, for the first flight, I'll just chill, listen to stuff, do all the usual thing, eat food and all that. But the second flight is when it gets serious. I think I'll probably just use the flight as an opportunity to meditate. If you follow the channel, you may be aware that I recently sat a 10 day silent meditation retreat. I have meditated for like 10 hours a day. So I'm hoping I can put some of that meditation into practice. And the other thing is I just want to use it as an opportunity for a real dopamine detox. I know for sure that this thing here is seriously taking over my life at the moment. I'm just constantly checking all my social media accounts, especially with the content creation stuff getting more and more popular. I'm getting closer and closer to monetization on YouTube and yeah, it's becoming all consuming. Even when I'm not checking my phone, I'm thinking about my phone. Hopefully get myself back to just enjoying the simple day-to-day -day things in life rather than all this overstimulation from my phone and everything else. I'm a bit gutted because I actually really enjoy long haul flights. I love watching movies. Usually when I take a long haul flight, I watch about three movies, eat loads of food. I just have a generally good time. But I think this would be a worthwhile challenge. And just to add to the challenge, I think I'm recovering from a bout of dengue <laughs> fever at the moment. I've just had serious overnight fevers, like full body aches, headaches. And there was recently a dengue outbreak in Cebu where I just was. So just making the challenge slightly harder there. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope I don't suffer too much and I'll see you at the airport. Let's go. First, a three hour flight from Manila to Bangkok. Not gonna roll dog this one, just gonna chill, maybe listen to a podcast and all in preparation. These speakers. Man. So as I settled in on the first flight, just about to put my headphones on, I kind of had a passing thought that maybe I should just raw dog this one too. I thought doing an extra three hours wouldn't be too difficult. So I decided to give it a go. And actually it was surprisingly hard. I tried meditating, but I was super distracted. It's quite difficult meditating in a noisy environment. It's not like meditating at home or in nature or anything. I just felt really agitated. And, and in fact, I felt quite nauseous as well. I think potentially from the dengue fever but it wasn't an enjoyable flight. After being bored for a couple of hours, they did bring around some food and I decided to eat because I knew I needed to fuel myself for this 13 hour raw dog coming up. It wasn't too long until the flight was over, but given that it was only three hours, I knew the 13 hour flight was going to be a challenge. Okay, that's flight one down of the two flights, currently in Bangkok, that was like three hours. I actually decided to raw dog that one as well. I don't know, I was sitting in the flight, I was like, why not, I can do it. Just go for it. But yeah, I felt a bit nauseous. I don't know, I think, I think it was the, the dengue fever kicking in. And yeah, I had one meal because that would probably be my last meal that I have. Now we're just gonna wait around for flight number two. So one thing I have been thinking about is what does raw dogging actually mean? I know what it means in terms of when you have sex, it's, basically having sex without protection. People are assuming that using entertainment like movies or headphones, listening to music, 
that's like your protection from the flight. Which is quite a funny concept if you think about it. So yeah, let's raw dog this flight. As soon as I sat down on the second flight, I tried picking up where I left off with the meditation on the previous one. And soon I drifted off into a deep, deep slumber. When I woke up, thankfully many hours had passed. And not allowing myself to look at my phone or any movies or any music, I just put the in-flight map on again and started meditating. Then interestingly, I noticed a few things starting to happen. I started noticing my mind just wandering, being creative, having trails of thought. And actually, I just looked out the window. And I don't mean just glancing out the window briefly. I mean, actually just really staring out the window. And to be honest, it was really stunning. It sounds dramatic, but how often do people take flights and not even look out at the, be at the beautiful view? People literally pay thousands of dollars to travel to a place with nice views, nice beaches, nice mountains, but they neglect the flight experience itself, myself included. So I just sat there and stared at the clouds and let my mind wander for ages. And it was really relaxing. It, I felt so content. And I remember thinking, I thought it'd be a flight of boredom and hell, but actually it turned out to be, it was a chance to reconnect with myself. And it's so sad that we can no longer do something that would be considered normal 20 years ago, that it's literally become a meme to just sit there and exist as a human being, not just constantly cramming information and entertainment into our brains. Call it what you want, raw dogging, dopamine detox, but we do live in an overstimulated world. And what I've learned from this experience is our brains really need downtime. They need time for creative space. I really suggest just finding a way to cultivate empty space in your life. And it doesn't have to be a long haul flight. Let your brain just be creative and calm for a period of time. Teach it to just enjoy watching a view again. Because in a world that's always on, sometimes we forget the importance of disconnecting so we can reconnect with ourselves. This has been Behind the Scenes Weekly, episode 15, a doctor's career break vlog on how to live a healthier, happier life. If you enjoyed this episode, I think you'll really enjoy the rest of the videos in this series. I'll see you next week. Keep training, keep living, peace. All right, that was a 13 hour successful raw dog. I think I'm gonna have to go home and process what just happened. Did I do it, Joe? Did I do it? Yeah, he's a raw dogger. I'm a raw dogger. <laughs>